Welcome to the Brass Hand Woodwind Shop. One of my viewers from the state of Maine asked about getting dents out of the bell of a bugle. He is a member of a veterans group who plays taps at veterans funerals. He said that one of the bugles was dropped and got dents in the bell section. So I told him to send it to me and I like supporting veterans groups so I said I will get the dents out. And here is the bugle. I have not seen the dents yet. So I will see what the deal is with this. Okay, there is the bugle. Oh, this should be easy to do. Uh, there's just a small dent right in the bell. Just a little bit about this bugle before I get started. This bugle is not intended to actually be played. There is a little insert that goes into the bell and it has a button on it and you push the button and it plays taps for you. These are usually used when you cannot find a bugle player to play for a ceremony. Then anybody can play it and they still have taps for the ceremony for the veteran's funeral. This bugle does work though. It plays in a lower key and also because it has such a big bell to fit the insert in there, it has a very uh, like a flugelhorn type sound. <laughs> Here's the crease right in the bell rim of the bugle, and it's, I've seen a lot worse than that, but it's spent quite a bit. But it's over a small section though, so it should not be that hard to fix. One of the considerations that I have to think about when I'm working on this is that this bugle is chrome plated. And because it's chrome plated, solder does not stick onto chrome plating. So if there are any solder joints, you have to put the solder joint back exactly where it was or the solder will not stick. I do not think I'm going to need to solder on this one though, so that should not be a problem. The other problem is that chrome plating can tend to chip. When it gets bent like this and then bent back, it can sometimes chip. The chrome plating can come off where the bend is, either on the front or on the back. So I'm going to keep my eye on that. And if it starts to chip, I'm probably just going to stop repairing it. Then leave the bell as good as I can get it, but without risking the chrome plating. A lot of bugles are chrome plated. And about the only things in music that are chrome plated are trombone slides and bugles. There are a few other things, but not very many. So I'm going to get started working on this now. These are probably the only two tools I'm going to need to do this job. These are called dent rollers, and they're called rollers because they roll as you get the dent out. This is the large dent roller, usually used on trombones, French horns, and tubas. This is the smaller one, usually used on trumpets and cornets. This bell is kind of in between. It's about the same size as a trumpet bell, at least in diameter, but it has a lot larger opening. So I think I'm probably going to start with the larger dent roller and see how that does. And because it's chrome plating, it will probably be better to have the larger surface area to work with. So I'm going to start with the large roller and see how that one works. I set the camera up so that you're looking over my shoulder as I'm doing this. So my head may get in the way as I get this dent out. I'm going to try to stay out of the way, but it might get in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm pushing down on the roller, but I'm also pushing down on the dent with my thumb. So I am trying to bend the dent down with my thumb as I'm pushing up on the roller. I'm not going to push as hard on the roller as I usually do because of the chrome plating. I do not want that to break and chip as I try to get that dent out. So I'm going to be pushing harder with my thumbs and not quite as hard on the roller. And I'm not sure how hard this metal is. On a lot of these type of instruments, the metal is a little harder. So I'm just feeling as I work on this and I'm going to do what needs to be done to get this dent out. Okay, this metal seems to be pretty hard. So... It might make this job a little more difficult to do. Also, as I'm doing this job, I'm using my shoulder to line up the instrument. You can't really see it in the video. Maybe I'll move the camera before I'm done and show you how I do that. Okay, well, the dent is out a little bit more than it was. It's still a fairly sharp dent. I'm checking the plating. The plating looks good. I don't see any cracks on that, so that's good. I'm going to push a little harder on the roller since it is proving to be a hard dent to get out. 
Okay, I'm going to, I'm also going to put a little weight on it with my hand here um, because it is, it is a hard dent. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, it is coming out slowly, but I am pushing really hard on this, a lot harder than I usually push on things to get dents out. And I'll come at it from the other direction. It's a little better than it was. It is coming out nicely, but it's just taking a long time. Because the metal is so hard, it's going to take a while for me to get this out. Now the other side. The dent is still coming out. I can tell that the plating has been stretched. It has a few marks in it. No chips yet, so that's good. And I'm going to continue doing what I have been doing. And that's really about all there is to getting these dents out. Just keep going back and forth. But like I say, this one is a lot harder metal than most trumpets or bugles, so it is taking longer. Not a lot longer, but a little bit longer. Usually this dent should take just a couple minutes to get out. This one is going to be you know, several minutes, but still not that long. The dent is most of the way out now. You can definitely tell that there are stretch marks on the plating, but I think it's going to be okay. Now I'm going to try to finish up this dent. I have been trying to stay right on the edge of the dent where the dent roller is making contact with the metal. Now I'm going to try to make contact throughout this. When you get a dent out, it does not come out the exact opposite way that it went in. So there are some other folds that are starting to occur in here, not just where it was before, but along the side. So I'm going to try to take care of those too when I'm doing this. So I am moving the bell so that it's making contact on one side and then what I'm going to do is lower it a little bit and make contact on the other side and then kind of go back and forth in between there. I moved the camera so you can see how I use my shoulder to get the dents out of here. I put the instrument over my shoulder and you can put it over either shoulder depending upon which one's the easiest. In this case, since the dent is over here, I want the tubing out of the way so that I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to go from this side. I'm moving my shoulder up and down as I go from one side of the dent to the other to keep contact with the roller. It starts at one tip of the bell rim on one side and then as you move towards the middle it is uh, in this case probably about a half inch or centimeter or so away from the bell rim and then it goes back to the edge of the bell rim again. So as I'm doing this I'm going to start with contact at the bell rim and then as I go, I'm going to move it down, and then as I come back, it has to move back up a little bit. You do whatever you need to do to put the dent roller where it needs to be to get the dent out the best way possible. So this dent is almost out. The dent is almost out. You can see what I have there. There are some stretch marks on the plating, but it's not that bad, and there are no chips, so that is good. Now what I'm going to do to check my work is take my bench and move the carpet away so that I have a flat surface here, and hopefully it's not too dirty underneath there. And if I push on this, you can see that the instrument does wobble. So I'm going to need to take care of that. And it could be the dent here that is making it wobble. Or sometimes when the, these dents get in there, it can shift the bell a bit. It can make the bell actually get thinner on one side and wider on the other side. The way to tell if the throat of the bell is the problem is put your hand around it and then turn the instrument around and feel for a change in diameter. If it feels round, 
then it's probably okay. But if it feels like the diameter changes and it feels like it's oval, then you need to compress the throat. But in this case, the throat feels like it's round. So take your thumbs and push like that. And you're going to see what I have now. It still wobbles a little bit if you push on it. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to push on this. And I have to push pretty hard because this is such hard metal. And I'm doing it with a flexing motion. I'm not just pushing because then that's when you break things or bend them backwards. You push and then you let up on it and you do it that way. That helps to keep things from going too far because you can better feel what's happening with the metal when you do it that way. Okay, this is very close. I'm going to need to go back to the dent roller. There's still one place that's not quite right. I'm going to straighten that out and that probably will solve the problem of it sitting squarely on the table. Okay, I'm going to check it again. Okay, it's very close, but still not quite there. I guess I'm just going to have to push a lot harder than I usually do. I think I am going to have to push on the bell throat a little, because this is off here, but on the other side it's off also, leading me to believe that the bell throat's probably the problem here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze it and then feel which way the bell gets straightened out and then I'm going to take it off the table and straighten it out that way. Okay, I think it's like that. So what I'm going to do is leave my hands in that position and start pushing on the bell again with a flexing motion and okay that did not work this one's being a little tricky trickier than usual I finished this up and the bell sits squarely on the table. So this instrument is finished. Other than where the stretch marks are, where the plating was stretched, it turned out pretty good. So this is a successful repair. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you to all the veterans out there and the bugle players who play for the ceremonies. And if any of you do play trumpet, cornet, or bugle, look up your local veterans group or bugles across America and see if there's somewhere locally that you can volunteer to play the bugle. I will leave a link in the description below to bugles across America.